Central New York's most accurate forecast. Hello, Central New York. Good late Saturday night to you. Terry, thank you so much for sharing this beauty. We've got the Oriole Theater. Sunrise through it this morning. Awesome shot with the flag. Good stuff. Look at that sunrise. Isn't that cool? Thanks a lot, Terry, for sharing this beauty with us here at News Channel 9 on our Facebook page. All right, the numbers from today. Uh, there you go. It was a hot one. Uh, 93 degrees, one degree shy of the record for the date set back in 1934. Yeah, I'd say it's probably safe to say most of us don't remember that day, right? Uh, 68, that was the low, kind of stuffy to say the least. No rainfall for today in Syracuse or all of central New York. So, uh, yes, it was a dry start to the weekend. Look here at the temperatures. We're hanging out in the 70s in Syracuse, points northwest for the most part, other than Watertown, but we got 60s to the southeast of Syracuse and the outlying areas in the hills, a little cooler, more comfy for snoozing. Notice to the west, look at Chicago, 83 degrees. I mean, granted, they're an hour behind us, but still, it is a very, very warm, almost tropical night out there. Dew points aren't crazy high yet, but they are going to slowly come up over the coming days, and I'll share that information with you in just a moment. Our temperature trend, uh, so we did 93 today. I'm thinking a tick higher. I went for it. We had 92 earlier. I'm like, you know what? I'm going for it. Going for a record high tomorrow. 94 here on Monday. And then we're going to start to cool a little bit anyway as we go toward the middle of the week, but still quite hot and getting steamier as we go through the coming days. So here are your record checks. <clears throat> All right, the record high for tomorrow is 92. Set back in 2008. Uh, I do think we're going to break it. I, I feel pretty confident of that. Uh, our temperatures in the lower levels of the atmosphere are similar, if not a touch higher tomorrow than they were today. We got a breeze out of the west southwest, which is a warming wind. So I'd be surprised if we didn't do a record tomorrow. We'll see. On uh, Monday, uh, record tying territory anyway. And then we're going to be, I got to believe, falling short of the record high on Tuesday of 97, thinking closer to 90. Dew points are right now in the 50s. So it's not bad out there. With the humidity. However, you can see more like low 60s out towards Chicago and Evansville, and the dew points will come up slowly into the low 60s tomorrow, so feeling a little stickier, and then even stickier here on Monday. And then I think dew points are well into the 60s Tuesday, Wednesday, and that's why our odds of seeing a few showers and storms will also go up as you go toward the middle of the week. There are no showers on the radar right now. A few showers up toward northern New York ahead of this dying cold front that doesn't make it here. Um, you can see the hazy, hot, and humid air. Building on in on the back side of this area of high pressure. So we take a look here at the time cast going through the night. I think 60s to near 70 for lows for most. Coolest reading south and east of Syracuse you just saw on the temperature map. Uh, as we go through the day tomorrow, a good deal of sun. Temperatures hopping up through the 70s and 80s. Low and mid 90s for many. Upper 80s and outlying areas. As we go into tomorrow night, it's going to be quiet and stuffy. On the waterways, looks good. Doing some boating. Maybe one to two footers here and there, but in general, it's pretty quiet. Hot and steamy, slight risk for a spotty storm or two here on Monday afternoon as humidity levels come up. And then a cold front inches toward the area for the middle of the week. Better chance for a few shower and storms popping Tuesday, Wednesday. And then as we go into late in the week, it's cooler and less humid with temperatures getting back into the low and mid 80s. Kellyanne?